In this video, let's talk about alchemy. First, I'll give you an overview of the synthesizer. Then we'll talk about signal flow. Move to the sources, modulation and envelopes. And at the end, we'll talk about performer and effects. Now let's open inspector and find alchemy instrument. Alchemy is a powerful sample manipulation synthesizer. It offers an extensive preset library. You can browse sounds based on tags including genre and timbre. Interface supports two main views. Simple view shows you real-time performance controls, and the advanced takes you to its synthesis engine where you can create sounds. Next you can see preset window where you can switch sounds. I'm going to initialize preset so we can start from scratch. Alchemy lets you set the quality of sound engine. Handy trick if you want to save your CPU. Make sure the limiter is on to avoid loud sounds. Before we start creating sounds, let's talk about Alchemy's signal flow. Each sound can contain up to four sources. Each source consists of additive, virtual analog, spectral, granular, and sampler elements. Multiple elements can be active in each source. Each source has three independent filters that can operate in parallel or in series. After you shape the basic tone of the sound, you can set it to two main filters and pass the effect stage before the main output. You can run the signal in parallel fashion, where it's mixed from different sources, or in series, where the signal is affected at each step before hitting the output. Now let's see what all that means in practice. Global view shows you all four sources and main controls. For starters, let's select a source and turn it on. Alchemy comes with collection of wave shapes. For this example, let's select basic sine wave. First, let's look at virtual analog engine that replicates analog synthesizers. I will use sync and symmetry knobs to show you how it affects selected waveform. and add unison voices. Like most analog synthesizers, VA engine can blend noise with the oscillator. Let's select one from available presets and dial it. If you are familiar with the subtractive synthesis, you will quickly learn VA engine. I recommend you explore waveforms or even adding your own. Now let's move to the second source and explore other engines. I'm going to turn it on and solo so we can focus on source B. On this source we can turn off the VA engine and use additive instead. Additive synthesis creates timbre by adding sine waves together. You can choose an effect type that is used to adjust the levels of different partial groups. When you dial the sound you like, you can unsolo the source and hear how it blends with others. Let's shape it more with Formant filter. Formant engine shapes the sound in a similar way to how the vocal tract works. It can boost frequencies to mimic the sound of different vowels. As I mentioned earlier, Alchemy is a sample manipulation synthesizer. With the source A and B we use different forms of synthesis to generate sounds. Now with the next two sources, we can explore how this instrument handles audio samples. On source C I'm going to import audio instead of choosing a waveform, and select sampler analysis mode. Now in the library I can browse for some interesting sounds that could work with what I have programmed so far. Let's try keys, and import multiple samples.
You can see that Alchemy is using sampler engine with the sounds I just added. Each source has edit mode. In this case it takes us to the mapping layout. You can see that this editor looks like a standard sampler, where you can add more sounds, use zones to layer them, and edit starting points. Now let's go back and look at granular engine. Granular synthesis is a method by which sounds are broken into tiny grains, which are then redistributed and reorganized to form other sounds. This way you can slow down playback without any artifacts, or completely reshape the sound. Let's see how it blends with other sources. Next we can talk about three source filters and how you can use them in series or parallel. I'm going to activate filter 1 and use Bitcrusher to distort the sample. On filter 2 I will add tube saturation to add warmth. Use filter 3 to high pass low frequencies and compare parallel and series signal flow. Let's blend all sources and adjust volume. Now we can move to the last source and explore spectral mode. On this source I will use Melodic Loop to create more organic evolving pad-like sound. Solo the source to isolate it. We can check what editor looks like in spectral mode. A spectrogram is a visual representation of frequencies of a signal. You can actually draw on top of it to modify the sound. For most users this feature is too advanced, and often it's easier to use standard tools to achieve the sound you want. In Spectral Engine you can add different elements. I want to add some movement to the sample with Shimmer. And cut low frequencies to avoid masking with other sources. I think I'm happy with the sound, and it's time to go to global view to start mixing sources together to achieve balance. Here I can activate all sources and adjust volume, pitch and panning of sounds individually. Now I can move on to the main filters. I will leave the filter 1 in low pass mode and switch the second filter to band pass. You can see that each source has a knob that sends the signal to filter 1, 2 or it could balance between both. Let's make some adjustments and see what it sounds like. Glide will make smooth pitch transitions of all sources. And as most other features, you can affect only one source at a time. After you have created the sound you like, you can start experimenting with morphing. X-Fade XY pad allows you to balance between all four sources. You can do the same trick but in linear way. Probably the most interesting feature is Morphing XY pad, where you can see that some knobs have turned green, 
That indicates which parameters will be affected when you drag the plug around. This is an easy and quick way to modify the sound and get some interesting results from existing patch. If you want to have more control over morphing, you can switch to elements, where 5 plugs of different color will let you dial changes to certain parameters. I think I have covered everything about sources, and we can move on to modulation features of Alchemy. Most of the modulation is very similar to any other synthesizer. Let's begin with the LFO. To assign modulator to a parameter, you need to select an op, and right click to open a list of modulators. Then in the modulation window you will see the destination and the LFO1 in this example. Next you'll need to set the depth of modulation. You will see the orange line around the target knob. To create another LFO, just select a parameter and from the list choose new LFO. You can select any shape from the list, ranging from standard sign and square shapes to complex ones. Let's deactivate it and move to the AHDSR envelope, which stands for Attack, Hold, Decay, Sustain and Release. This type of envelope can be found on any synthesizer, and typically is used to open the filter or shape the volume of oscillators. The multiple segment envelope generator allows complex modulation envelopes to be created and edited. The MSAG display shows a graph of envelope generator output. The ruler along the top shows the time in seconds or in bits when sync is activated. The envelope appears as a series of points joined by lines and curves representing the different envelope segments. Any number of points can be added to an envelope. And the envelope segments linking these points can be linear or curved. All modulators provide extra features with the description below. The Sequencer module is a programmable step-based modulator that can play patterns of up to 128 steps that are synchronized with the project tempo. You can change the way you program it. For instance, if you want to work with pitch, it makes more sense to snap values to 12 steps. Now let's assign it to the resonance of filter 1 and adjust depth. Tie notes for smooth changes. The envelope follower module provides an envelope follower with attack, release and scale parameters. Let's assign it to fine tune so we get these subtle pitch changes for more realistic analog sound. ModMap lets you create curved velocity responses, scale the volume of each source across the keyboard, quantize the pitch response to a random LFO modulation so it aligns with the step of a scale, and much more. If you are feeling lost with all the targets you set, click on Show Target, and you'll see a full list of assigned modulators. Now let's move to Performer, Arpeggiator and Effects section of Alchemy. Performance controls are a custom set of controls that modify the values of key sound parameters. You can use Auto Assign feature which seeks to find the most relevant parameters to my two performance controls. Auto assign can often provide a good starting point for assignments, but it's much better if you take the time to make manual assignments. ADSR knobs also need to be manually assigned to the main ADSR envelope. Alchemy process contains 8 snapshots of performance control settings, numbered 1 to 8. You can rename them, aim for a unique and descriptive name for each snapshot. You can see that each snapshot safe position of knobs, so you can morph between them. Next we have Arpeggiator. It is basically a simplified version of Logic's MIDI Arpeggiator. And again, you can use this ARP with all sources, or pick only one. In this case, let's go with B.
ARP can work with pitch, but also with panning, velocity and other parameters. The last page is effects. Most of the effects are based on logics collection. Here we can add the reverb to the main output and pick a preset. Let's try adding multiple effect buses. Here I'm going to use distortion and delay on page A. Next you'll need to send the source to effects A for it to work. You can hear that only source C is sent to bus A. Let's try adding one more. This time I'm going to use phaser and send source A to this bus and adjust the balance between the effect and filter. Alchemy is a powerful instrument. Its flexibility and depth allow you to create any sound using samples or waveforms. If you are interested in sound design videos on Alchemy, or have any questions, let me know in the comments.